it's Cheryl's welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you choose to stay um I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I'm sorry life has been absolutely chaotic so as you can tell by the title of this video I decided to vlog my um, law school orientation experience it's called lead week at Duke um, and this is day one it's Monday it's 11 o'clock um, but I thought I would start out the video by giving you guys like a little life update and talking about some like light rebranding that I'm going to be doing with my channel. So I finished up my fellowship like three weeks ago and then for the two weeks that I had kind of like in between law school and my fellowship, I was working and then for a week after that, I, last Wednesday, I went to Miami as kind of like a last hurrah trip. But yeah, today is the first day of law school orientation and I have kind of been thinking about like what my goal is for my YouTube channel. I've really found that law school videos are clearly my niche because um, those are the most viewed videos that I have and also I really just like enjoy making them. and. Really, there's no way to avoid that because right now, um, law school is going to be like, you know, 90% of my life. That is kind of where my channel is headed. So you will be seeing a lot of law school related content. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy that. Um, even if you're not like a lawyer or interested in going to law school or whatever, I'm hoping that my content is still interesting to you because um, it's still going to kind of be about like my daily life and we'll still like share tips and tricks that just have to do with life. So it's still a lifestyle channel, but very much centered around my law school experience. Today is our first day of orientation and thank the good Lord above, it is an all virtual day. Um, so we have like three different Zooms and they start at 1.30 and end at 4.15. And then after that, um, I'm in like a group chat with some women that go to my law school and they, one of them invited us over to her house for like a Bachelor in Paradise like watching night, which is going to be so cute. It's going to be a little wine night and I'm really excited about that. Um, so that's what I'm going to be getting into today. The rest of our orientation days are in person, so I'm not sure like how much filming I'll do. I don't really know like how to navigate that, but I will be taking you guys along with me for the journey. All right, y'all, so this is the current OOTD. Also, I'm filming on my phone because um, I just am not satisfied anymore with the videos that come from my camera, and I know that it's literally, it's like the same quality for my phone as it is with my camera, so I'm just trying something a little bit new. Um, we'll see what happens, but I plan on ordering a new vlogging camera pretty soon here but anyway um I got this shirt from Miami I can't remember if I said that in the video but got this shirt it says all black everything real cute just some regular lulu lemon leggings basic stuff um and I think I'm gonna change pretty soon here um but I'm about to go downstairs and make some breakfast because your girl is hungry <laughs> All right, back in the claw office. Here's like just the quick, if you're wondering what the room looks like. I've got my desk in here. It's a little messy right now just because a lot's going on and my tripod shouldn't be out. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Great. But um, right now I'm about to change and I just brought a heater in here because I'm a little baby and it is so cold just because I opened the vent like a little while ago and it's freezing in here now and I hate that. So I'm going to work on that case brief again because this is what it looks like right now. Don't judge me because I don't know how to do them. And then I'm going to change into this. Got myself a new cup of coffee. It's a dress, but I'm hoping that it'll look right as a shirt. And yeah, I, uh, I'm just going to work on that. I need to schedule my COVID test for Wednesday so that I can go around my family without a mask, hopefully. Okay, yeah, but um, I'll see you guys after I change. Hopefully this thing looks right. All right, so I just like finished up slash, I don't know, like fixed my case brief. I'm a lot more confident in it now. I think that it is very close to right so I'm about to go change and I finished it just under the wire it's like what it's 1 13 so I've got like 15 minutes until this first zoom starts and I will talk to y'all after that 
Okay, sorry, the lighting is terrible in this mirror, but this is the look that I am going with. Also, I just realized this. I'm just going to go ahead and comment on it once and for all. I know that this is super dirty. It's not even just dirty. It's cracked. Can you see that? It got just like destroyed in Miami. Um, word to the wise, never buy a mirror phone case because it's going to look disgusting and it makes you look disgusting because it's gross, you know? Anyway, um... <laughs> Aside from that, I decided to do some earrings that are a little bit bold since my church dress thing is so like plain, but this is it's literally, you know, a dress, but I'm wearing it as a shirt and yeah, this is what we're doing. So, um, I will talk to you guys after the zoom is over. All right. So orientation day one is done. Um, it wasn't that bad. My case brief was like solid i definitely like missed some things but that's okay um i didn't get cold called so that was <laughs> good because i definitely was like it's gonna be me every time he would say like miss i was like it's me but then it wasn't which was good um but i think i would have been okay um that happened and then the other sessions were really good so i'm about to spend some time um i'm gonna go through like each of the courses that i'm gonna take and I'm going to look at, um, like the materials that are required and, um, like print out the syllabi and just like all that stuff. Um, and just like get all the things that I need in order for all my classes and maybe start on some readings. Um, but before I do that, I honestly might nap because like, I don't know, it just got cloudy and it looks kind of like a nice time to nap. And you know what? Like I can because nothing's pressing that's due right now. And I'm not going anywhere until like 7.30, so we'll see. All right, y'all. So I just woke up from a nap and a little bit earlier, like during one of um, one of the Zooms that I was in, I started like sneezing a bit and I'm like pretty confident that it's just allergies, but just in the like off case it's not, I decided to not go to the event tonight um, with some law school women just because like I'm not sure if people are going to be wearing their masks. Like, I'm not worried about, like, getting myself sick. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping them safe and whatnot. So, I just decided that it would be best to be, like, safe than sorry. Um, but I'm just going to use that extra time to, like, do some readings. Um, I still need to get prepared for most of my classes because I did use that time to nap and watch Love Island. So, yeah, I'm just going to, um, do all the things on my to-do list now. Not super exciting. Um, we'll see what, what's for dinner. But, yeah, that's what I'm about to get into. exhilarating night it has been I got ready for all of my classes so here's all my homework for the next week it's a lot but you know it'll be fine um shout out to Angel she got me these really cute markers they just came in the mail today um that was the most exciting part of my day um I made these cute little like binder covers so but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to order my textbooks. I'm not going to do any of the readings tonight just because I want to like go to sleep. Tomorrow's the first like in-person day of orientation. So I want to shower and get my like um, outfit together for that and just be prepared so that I can leave in the morning because I'm pretty sure things start really early. Yeah, so at 8, we have to be um, at breakfast or something. So that means I've got to leave here at like 7.40 ish because I don't really know where to park I got a parking pass but I don't know where the parking lot is so yeah um chill night had dinner with my family perks of um 
living at home means that I get to eat the food that my parents make, so they made dinner. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish up, clean up in here, get my outfit ready for tomorrow. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our first in-person orientation day. Woo woo! Good morning, everybody. So it is actually Wednesday morning because yesterday I felt so terrible. When I woke up, I immediately went to um, urgent care and got a COVID test because I was, well, I didn't think I didn't have any COVID symptoms, but like I just felt even worse than I did like on Monday night. And so I thought that it was best, you know, to not go to any in-person events because I would... Gosh, I would like hate to, you know, get anybody else sick. That would just be terrible. So I did that. Um, and then this morning I got notice that my COVID test was negative and I'm going to take another one at Duke today. Um, but I did not get a rapid test. So it's not likely that it was a um, false negative because I got like the, the full antigen test or whatever it's called. Oh my gosh, the amount of COVID tests I've taken, you know, this last year and a half is ridiculous. But um <clears throat> So I have my first day today. I'm a little bit behind just because I slept in a little bit this morning. Um, but this is the OOTD. We the top is from Forever 21, and these pants are from American Eagle. And I'm just gonna be wearing pearls and these shoes from Steve Madden. And that is the look. And I'm gonna bring my long shot back. I think we have like a class today, and then like a seminar on diversity and inclusion, and then like lunch and than something else i don't know it's a full day though it's, i'm gonna be there until five but i feel so much better and i'm so happy i was so worried i had the worst fomo like watching um the <clears throat> instagram story yesterday like everybody looked like they were having so fun much fun and they look like so cute like oh my gosh i feel like i'm a freshman again this is wild um but yeah that is what today is looking like so i will take you guys along with me um first I'm gonna go in and get my COVID test before I go to like class and then I'm gonna go to class so yeah talk to you guys later all right y'all this is the first opportunity I've had to vlog where like nobody's around but things are going well um I just lost my car so I was walking around for literally 20 minutes trying to find my car, but I found it, so I was good. Got some cough drops, so got to go to another class, and I'll keep you guys updated. Hey, y'all. I'm going to organize my masks while I'm talking to you. Um, just finished my first in-person day, and it was great. Um, I only coughed a handful of times. Okay, more than a handful, but I was literally like, my eyes were bulging out of my head, like literally felt like I was about to explode because I couldn't cough because like I know that I'm fine, but like random people don't know that. Anyway, um, it was good. I had, today we had like um, a seminar on sexual assault and then we had one on like diversity and stuff and stuff, diversity and inclusion. Um, and then I had my first class, which was my writing class. And I think it's going to be bearable. Like, I don't think it's it's scary you know everything's scary but i think i'll be okay um it was really hot i yeah i got to meet this group of girls um my friend larissa she came yesterday and she met some girls and she was like excited for me to meet them and i was excited to meet them and they were all super sweet um and yeah overall it was just like a good day but now i'm about to go home deciding whether or not i want mcdonald's fun fact about me i freaking love mcdonald's um no shame yeah i know it's gross but i love it uh i kind of want to get myself like a post first day like you know celebratory meal but also feel like my parents have something cooked at home so i think i might just wait it's like five o'clock so and i need to do some homework i'll update y'all on like the homework that i have once i get home um but yeah i'm gonna drive home now hey y'all so i just ate a little snack downstairs and what did i have i had like an egg salad sandwich which is not really a snack and a peach I started watching Rush Talk. Um, I like had seen it as a hashtag somewhere, but just like wasn't paying any attention to it. But anyway, um, I did that and just like responded to some notifications. And now I'm about to clean up a little bit because my room got a little bit messy um, while I was, you know, in my sickness. Um, so now I'm gonna clean up so that I can start working on my homework.
y'all. Um, so it is 9.03 um, and I am finishing up for the night. I, let's see, I did like a lot of just like little things. I didn't get like a ton of my torts work. I was planning, so I was planning on doing like all of my torts homework for next week for once my classes start. But um, I didn't quite do that because I had a lot of other stuff to do. So I just like... Every day at orientation, there's just, like, a new thing that they tell you that you need to do. Sorry, I'm just going to set my phone there. Um, so, yeah, I was, like, doing all the things that, you know, come up during the day. And then I just had a couple of, like, life things that I need to do. Like, I was the one who calculated the balances of, like, um, what my friends and I owed each other when we went to Miami. And I need to finish that because I would forget. Um, I need to pay my credit cards. Um, and then I also looked up and like got all the books that I need so I'm happy about that I feel good about that um and I'm working on this first assignment an initial rule drafting so I'm working on this assignment but before I did that I wanted to make like a template for case briefs and then like a template for the notes that I take in class that I'll like add to my case brief because I'm trying to figure out like what's the best way to take notes um in class and also like I don't want to have like three separate documents like every time because I know that I'm supposed to have, like, a digital case brief. And then also, okay, well, let me explain it this way. This is what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have, like, um, a case brief that I do. So, like, when after I read the case, you know, and then I make the case brief, I'm going to have, like, that document. And I'm going to do that by hand. So I'm going to print out these, like, templates. And I'm going to do this by hand. And then um, I'm going to, in class, in a different color, like, add in the extra stuff that like I missed in the case brief and I'm also gonna have like a separate sheet for like notes and extra things whatever and then um, I'm going to after each of those classes consolidate them into one digital copy and that'll be like the copy that I use for studying so yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do but I'll I'm, I'm sure that that will like continue to evolve, evolve like as I go throughout my classes but yeah I'm gonna try to go to bed like in 30 minutes just because I do want to get fully better. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, okay, it is Thursday and I hardly filmed anything today because this morning I was like kind of sort of late. Um, I'm just gonna stretch and give you guys an update on what we did for orientation today. Um, but yeah, so um, I was just like rushing this morning and we had to be there at 8.30 and I just like haven't gotten it always takes me like a couple times to just like understand how long it takes for me to walk because like I live like seven to ten minutes away from the parking deck but then it takes like ten minutes to walk from the parking deck to the law school building and so that's what like I keep on forgetting and so hopefully tomorrow I'll like have it all straightened out but I got there we watched so today we had like um, three different sessions. So we watched this, um, movie about, a uh, wrongful conviction. Um, and it was really, really deep. Um, like super, super moving. A lot of people cried. Um, it was about this man who had been wrongly convicted for someone's, um, rape and murder and had been in jail for 19 years because of it. It was insane honestly and then after that we had a panel of this other man um who was wrongfully convicted he had been in there i think he had been in there longer than 19 years um in jail and um he and it was just like about you know what it means to like be a lawyer um for people that are wrongfully convicted and like the amount of people that are wrongfully convicted and this isn't like you know um a ran like this isn't like a one-off thing like there are a lot of people out there that are in jail that did not commit the crimes that they were sentenced to um or that they were charged of and so yeah um that was intense and then we had um like um a meeting or a session on like the pro bono clinics that are at duke um and like all of the public interest like job um public public interest careers and things like that and then we had lunch it was good apparently they've had the same lunches for like every day but this is only my second day it's only my third day out here but it's actually not it's my second day out here um but 
they I had a really good it was like a southwest wrap like I thought it smacked so go Duke um but that was pretty good and then this is the fun part of my day I'm gonna zoom in on my face the fun part of my day was that um they had us all split up into like small groups so that we could do like it's called like a I don't know it was like keeping Durham beautiful day or whatever it was a service project like all the different groups had to do service projects so mine some of the service projects were inside some of them were outside I think some people went to like the rescue mission some people went to like a food bank ours was picking up litter and I was like okay that's fine you know like I was the volunteer service like president when I was in high school you know like I've picked up litter in Durham before no y'all we go to this creek trail and there's this man and he's our leader and like god bless this man because he was so into getting litter like out of where i'm about to tell you we went um he was so dedicated like bless him but so he tells us he's like we're gonna be getting into a creek and i was like hmm what do you mean we're getting into a creek like i'm wearing literally ocd shorts they gave us this shirt but i'm and then i was wearing like these sneakers like my good sneakers i was like I'm not gonna get into a creek like what do you mean we're getting into a creek to like I just like could not understand so then we're like walking down this trail this is a story time story time with Cheryl's um we're walking into a trail or down a trail and then the man just like peels off into the woods and I was like maybe he had to go pee like I have no idea what's going on right now like and then people start to follow him and I'm like what like it's literally like not even part of the trail he just like peels off into the woods and apparently like all the trash had like like whatever this word is it had like floated down to this like one area that was kind of like dammed up by some like wood and stuff and there was just like he was like yeah there's about um 50 to 60 bags down here a car tire and a door <laughs> and so literally um there were definitely like different levels of involvement like some people were like I'm not getting down in there um some people were like I'll get down in there but like our guide he legitimately like was completely wet from his feet to like his waist um so some people did that like some people like helped I personally my level of involvement was like strictly medium like I went in and then I would like carry bags out I'm, it's probably lower than medium I like don't even know that I can like genuinely say that I medium helped I mean I tried to help as best as I could without getting my entire body wet and also I was just like dying in the heat like I cannot I cannot do heat like that like it was 91 degrees today so um that's what we did today but i got to meet some people that i haven't met before which was really exciting i feel like i just have like the worst fomo because i missed out on the first day so i feel like i really missed out on like an opportunity to meet like the people that are inside of my like orientation group so i got to meet some more people and that was awesome they were super fun um and had like a lot of good laughs but currently this is 4 59 i decided to start wearing my apple watch because i feel like it'll be useful to know like what time it is without having to be like rude and like flip over my phone um it's 4 59 so I'm about to go downstairs eat a snack check my phone respond to notifications I feel like I'm I want to make a routine of that like get home check notifications eat a snack come up do homework um homework ew uh but yeah that is what that's what I'm gonna do I have a writing class I have homework due for that tomorrow and then also like I said I wanted to get on my tour homework so um but other than that I'm just ready to get into the shower and clean off my body because I don't smell right and then I'm going to mm, get on some homework what's up party people so it is <clears throat> 6:45. I am working on my case brief. Also, I kind of want to show this off, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay, so I stayed up kind of late last night working on this, like, case brief template, and look at how cute it is. So, you know, it's got all the stuff. I mean, everybody's case brief is different, and, like, as the semester goes on, like, I'll know what are the important things that need to be in mind, but I really like it, and it worked for me. So, yeah, I just am going to finish up this case brief. I just have to do the application and the couldn't well 
application and then like half of the conclusion and then i have to do there's like another assignment that goes along with it the um i don't know it's like a brief rule ruling so, something i don't know there's another assignment that goes along with it and then once i am done with that i just have like i said for the sixth time my torts homework um when's that ever gonna get done but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now um it's taco thursday i'm excited for dinner um and that's really all we've got going on around here just working girl vibes <laughs> Friday we made it I don't know how but it's Friday um and I just got off of a call I feel like I've mentioned this before in one of my vlogs but I'm the chair of um Kids Running Durham which is a local nonprofit organization here in Durham and um we had a board meeting this morning and you know I feel like I should make every effort to go to those board meetings. I would, I would regardless if I was a chair or not, but you know, I feel like it's a little bit more, you know, I have more responsibility now. So anyway, I, um, I went to the board meeting. It was really good. Um, and I ate some breakfast as you saw my dad. Oh gosh, Lord bless this man. Love him to death, but like he eats like protein and that's like it. Like, so, for breakfast, he'll have, like, bacon. <laughs> That's it. Um, this coffee is very strong. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I had ham for breakfast, and I just finished a nectarine or a peach or something. It was really good. Getting my fiber in. And now I'm going to spend, like, 30 minutes, ooh, now 15 minutes reading the rest of, I have, like, a reading for class tomorrow, um, wait no today today in a few hours um let me look at the schedule for today so uh, today's name is of the name of the day all the days had these like really strong titles today is engage intellectually and live with purpose so first I have some seminar called living with purpose um, I don't know what that's gonna be I don't know maybe it's about they've like really impressed upon us that like well-being and taking care of yourself is like really important like my LARW um which is like a legal writing class um the first question our like get to know you question or whatever was like what do you do when you like need to take a break I said I nap which is very true um but yeah so we have a s that at 11 30 and also it's 10 18 right now um, so that's at 11.30, and then I have lunch at 12.30, and then, um, like, part two of our, div wait, actually, I don't know what I have, <laughs> sorry, and then I have my writing class, and then I have, um, <clears throat> my, like, diversity and inclusion seminar part two, and then we have, like, a uh, barbecue, and then I think I'm going out with some people for drinks, which will be fun, making friends, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna focus on the rest of this reading now really quickly. It's about, uh, I hate that it makes me do that. I don't know, but I, um, it's about, like, mm, the government. <laughs> I don't know. It's about legal systems and, like, the, the, the basis of how which laws are made in our country. Blah. All that stuff. Um, but, yeah, so... I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, hey y'all. So we are done. Oh, this is Larissa. I feel like I've mentioned you like three times in my vlogs this I week. It. Um, but we're done. We're at um, Poor, which is like a tap room in Durham. It's cute. Got our little ciders. This is the one that she got. She inspired me. I normally like fill mine halfway up with like one cider and then fill it up with a different cider, but she full sent it, so I did too. All right. Um, 
yeah, so we're just gonna hang out here and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, um, okay, we made it. I can't believe it, but we made it through um, 1L orientation week. I'm gonna sit this down so I can tell you guys about today. Also, I wanna show off my, I don't know how to pronounce this word, so do not roast me if this is wrong, but ergonomic laptop stand but it's really cute you know it's really good for apparently because like you know this is what you want to be doing instead of this which is what I'm always doing anyway um that aside made it through orientation week it was a long one but a good one especially considering I literally missed the first day because I was sick or I guess technically the second day but um yeah so today we did let's see what was first oh first we had this session that was on like wellness and health and like the the resources that they have for students at duke and it was legit like 30 minutes it was so short so then we just sat um and like did some work in between that and then we had lunch um which was just the regular box lunch but i personally thought their lunches like weren't so bad because i really like the southwestern wrap and then um, I had my, uh, what's it called? My writing class, which was really good. Um, I personally really like the, the section that I'm in. Like, it's engaging and I like my professor. And um, yeah, it's just like a pretty good time. Um, and I think that I like understood the assignment. We had that, that assignment that I was working on last night, the like rules assignment. Um, I think I like did okay. I, I don't know. I don't want to like say that I did really well on it and then I get it back and it's like wrong, wrong, wrong. But I, we like kind of went over it in class before we turned it in and like I understood, like I got the things correct that were said in class, if that makes any sense. So that was good. And then after we had, okay, it was like entitled diversity and inclusion part two. We were going to talk about like diversity, equity, and inclusion. And it was more so like diversity in teaching styles. I don't know. It was like, it was interesting for sure. Um, but I just thought it was going to be like a part two of the other diversity seminar that we had, but it was not. Um, but that's what we did. And then there was like a barbecue dinner and a lot of people got together tonight. As you can imagine, it's like the last day. It's the first week. Um, either people, there were like two groups of people. There were like people that were like, I'm absolutely obliterated. I'm so exhausted. I'm going home and I'm going to go to sleep. Or there were people like, yeah, let's go drink. And I was like, well, first I ate my food. So I hung out with Larissa, which I showed you guys a clip of. And then um, <clears throat> I went and like some other people came to pour like a little bit later like honestly two hours later so we got some time like good time to chat about like the reality of what this has been like it's just been um it's been really good but also like it's just a completely new ballpark like every time I've been in class before what I was learning like I kind of had some like basis of knowledge on it and I just like I did not come from a legal background like I've never worked at a law firm before um I have just like very limited legal experience and legal knowledge and so everything is new and it's just like a lot it's it's like an ocean kind of coming at me and so I'm just like oh my gosh I feel a little bit inundated but it's okay um we're gonna get through it but for starters fingers crossed like people seem really really nice um like everybody that I don't know like I I've run of course there's gonna be like a couple you know oddballs that are just not kind you know like you, you can't avoid that anywhere that you go but so far people just seem really kind especially the people that were in my group um the ones where we were pulling trash out of the river that um they all seem like super kind. I feel like we like really, we built some solidarity. We've been through some stuff together. So that was cool. Um, But yeah, overall it was like, it was definitely a good week. And I am like anxiously excited about next week. I don't know. I'm excited because I'm really like, honestly, the orientation weeks are like the bane of my existence. <laughs> like as much as I love like meeting new people, I just really it's just not something that I enjoy to like sit and listen 
in huge quantities about like all the things that are to come in the next three years of my life like or even just one year like the first day used to be my least favorite day when I would go back to school just because it was we didn't actually do any learning for the most part we just like talked about what we were gonna do and that's just not it for me but um yeah so I am happy that orientation week is over and that it was good and I'm just really excited to like jump into learning and to do my readings this weekend so yeah um thanks for coming along this week with me sorry it's been a little bit kind of disjointed as all my vlogs are and um it was just a lot of me talking about the things that we did since I didn't want to like film these people that I just met but regardless thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon Bye.